Are you a working mom who realizes you can't possibly handle everything yourself, but you hesitate to reach out for help? You're not the only one who backs away from asking others to take on responsibilities at home and at work. If you want to let go of the idea that you should be doing it all, or stop feeling like a burden when you rely on others, then meet the working moms in this video who reveal how they found their essential resources from family to friends to daycare and more. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. We want to be that tribe of girlfriends you wish you had alongside you to cheer you on every day. When my son was about a year old, we were ready to buy our first house and faced a big decision whether to be close to work or family. We were renting only about three miles from my dad and stepmom, but it was 100 miles from the job I went to in another state two days a week. Instead of moving 50 miles closer to my job, we chose to be less than 10 miles from family, and it made a huge difference in our lives. Anytime we needed someone to feed the kids, watch the kids, drive the kids, their grandparents were eager to step in. Even more important was the support and connection that developed between my children and their grandparents, who took them to museums and on nature hikes and saw them at every soccer game, music recital, dance performance, and all the other life events, whether big or little. Now, that may not work for your situation, and that's why I interviewed working mothers from all over to discover how they find the help that they need to meet the demands of parenting and working. Would you have been able to do this without help? Who are the people that have helped you? In the beginning, it was hard to go out with my friends because I don't have a who watch my kids and not really trust to somebody else. He working in the afternoon and working in the mornings and the daycare also. My last couple of kids went to the daycare, so it's hard, it's not easy. Was it affordable? Did you sometimes feel like half your check was going to daycare? Yes, it's very expensive. We have no family close to us. So I did, after the first year of struggling, finally decide to have some in-home care a couple times a week. When my daughter was younger, I had my daughter in child care at three months. My employer reimbursed me for child care um, on a bi-weekly basis. Um, that was a huge help. And with daycares, you know, they're open longer hours. They, o they open earlier in the morning, so you're able to have that travel time drop off and pick up. Um, but I felt like I was just always in a rush and there just wasn't enough hours in the day. It's very hard to find affordable child care. It's, it's expensive, so it's almost like you have to wor work just to make sure you can pay child care. And even if you can get child care assistance, you know, it doesn't seem like it's enough. Somebody to watch him, that's the hardest thing, trying to find somebody to watch him as a single parent. You know, I have family that live in the area, and sometimes he could go play, but um, his father lives further away. So we both work full time. Uh, he's in daycare currently with, um, uh, we, they have like a little organization near us. It's really cute, he loves it a lot. So when you first had to make that transition to go back to work and send him to daycare, what was that like? Easy? You, easy peasy? You knew that's what you were going to do? Oh God, no. I mean, we knew I had to go back to work, but we started off, actually, we hired a nanny. So when I first went back, I work from home, so I thought the easiest thing would be to have a nanny come into the house. It was definitely difficult. We went through, uh, we, we interviewed, it had to be more than 20 people for the nanny job, which is a job in and of itself interviewing people. Um, and then the person we had, she was great. You know, I'm probably just not as good of a manager as I thought I would be. So it didn't end up working out, um, but we got lucky with our daycare and that really worked for us. You know, if you have to work, you have to figure out a way to get through it. And not all of us can keep our babies at home and whatever works for you is works for you. Don't let anybody judge you. People are always like, don't put a little baby in daycare. 
but for some people that's the best thing to do and if that works for your family that's what works so just close your ears to everybody else and do what works best for you. It definitely is the support of my family so my husband is amazing he is a huge support system does a lot around the house to help so we really share in that aspect of things. Um, the boys have had the same child caregiver since they were both very very young um, and my in-laws as well help. My in-laws live next door so there's constant adults around and his older brother and older sister and her husband live with us. So he's always got adults around. We're really blessed. The school has um, like before care and after care. So they just sort of stay. Fortunately, my mom worked from home. She started a home business when I was growing up. So she was able to be stay at home grandmother plus run her business as well. So that was a plus and I was definitely blessed um, to have my mother there to be able to help out. But I come from that type of a culture. We have, I have Hawaiian, Chinese, Filipino background. And so we're very family oriented, you know, family takes care of family. So blessed there as well. Um, but when we moved away from uh, living so close to my parents, um, we did eventually, I had to be okay with putting the younger ones in daycare, which was very hard for me. The kids, uh, they spend a lot of time at school, except the little one. So I have some period of time from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. My mother is helping me with all the home stuff, so it's kind of very convenient. Does she live with you? Yes, she does. Okay. Did the fact that you have family to watch the kids play in your decision to work or to work full time? I would say yes, because daycare is so expensive and I don't just trust anyone with my children. I want people I know and trust very well to watch them. So yes, that definitely played a role in me going back to work. So what is the arrangement? Who is it that watches? How often? Does it have to be several family members? Do you pay them? Do they give you a discount or do they do it out of love? Um, we actually had his sister watch our daughter whenever I was in school and she would watch her two to three days a week and those would be eight to twelve hour days depending on where I was at that day. And we paid her some but you know not even a quarter of the price of what a daycare would cost. So you working full time and had two kids and going to school? You're crazy, Taylor. How'd you do all that? Oh, <laughs> my husband helped a lot, so that was very nice. We have a lot of family, so it was good, but it was tough. I hope the interviews you just watched and my other videos remind you we all feel frustrated at times, but it will get better. I believe working moms who accept their strengths and weaknesses are better able to prosper day in and day out. And I want to help by sharing more strategies from other working moms in my next video to give you ideas and inspiration to conquer your challenges. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to boost your confidence as you relate to the successes and the failures of the Working Mom Warriors who share their secrets so we can all benefit.